Okay, so let's talk about finding your pictures off the internet, okay? So you're going to eventually need five pictures. What I would do is this. Get your instructions, go to the computer, and make a folder on your desktop. Name it your last name and then SC. And open that folder and keep it open to the side, okay? So that when you go into the internet and you get large images, you can then drag those over into the folder. Now let's review how to find large images. So let's say I'm going to look up flowers. First of all, you need to find color pictures. So whatever you type in here needs to be school appropriate. You want to go to images and you also then want to make sure you go to search tools and you mark large. Okay? So let's review. To get a large picture, you have to click on the thumbnail and then, then you can pull the bigger picture over. Now this is a website, so that doesn't work. So I'm going to click again on the picture. Now I have the actual picture that I can save. And I will then pull that over to this, OK? I can say, do not, do not just pull the thumbnail over. But people still do it. I don't know why. So let me show you the difference. Image, that's the thumbnail. And it's really, really tiny. If I went up and to find how big it is, it's probably like one inch by one. But the picture that you want to use is going to be larger. Compare and contrast. See how big this picture is versus this? No, it's not the same, but my point is that you want, you want a big picture so that when you control plus and you zoom in, you can, you know, go through and around stuff. So please, pretty please, pretty please, do not save images. Get rid of that, okay? When you go in through, you can do pictures of you. I don't care. Just make sure it's school appropriate. You can do cars. You can do basketball. I have a lot of kids that do a lot of um, sports. So if you want to do this and you want to you know, spot color and keep the basketball in color, then go and find sports pictures. Just don't pick something that is black and white, please. It has to start out in color. All right, so this is a picture that we can, maybe, I can write, I can say, I cannot. Let's see. No, it's... It is copyrighted. So you might have to go through and you might have to find something that's not copyrighted and keep looking. Now, if I would do this picture, it has a white background. So if I pulled this picture over, all right, and I tried to open it in Photoshop, there's no background anyway. So don't pick a picture that has no background. All right, that doesn't work either. So. The best thing would be find a picture that has color everything and you can copy it. This is big now. Look at that. Boom. All right. You need at least five pictures in your folder. And then once you have your folder, put it in your C drive so you save it. Okay. So I want to show you how you're going to use this. But right now, this video is just on how to save large images.